got a nice carpet here to put in my tent, but it's got about a hundred years worth of dust in it. I tried shaking it out, but there was no end in sight, so I'm going to take it up to the barn and hit it with the shop vac. So it's still too cold to do the glue up on the foam house and I'm still waiting on parts for the second golf cart. So today I'm going to get started on a new project, which is actually a very old project. So this here is the hull for my mini pirate ship. This is the first project I ever did using fiberglass and epoxy. And if we look along the edge here, we can see I did not do a stellar job. There's goopy stuff sticking up here. Even worse over here. And then if we look here, we can see I put fiberglass tape on this edge and then I fiberglassed over it, but I didn't do a good job of filling in the gaps on the fiberglass tape before I fiberglassed over it. And so now I've got all of these air gaps in here. Fortunately, there's a solution for fixing all these problems and it's called sanding. A big problem with sanding this fiberglass and this epoxy is that it's gonna create a lot of dust Today I'm going to do just a quick little test to see how bad the problem is going to be and that will tell me how much precautions I need to take to contain the dust. So I think the answer is pretty clear that even with the shop vac trying to suck the dust out, you could see the dust just going everywhere. And so I'm gonna probably need to rig up some sort of sanding area with some tarps or something to try to keep the dust from just floating everywhere in here. And I'm definitely gonna to wanna to get my gloves on and probably get the full Tyvek suit on. So that, came down pretty easy. That was a 120 grit. I'm glad I started with that instead of the more aggressive 80 or 60. So this is now too smooth to put another layer on. So I would need to come back and hit it with the 80 grit by hand if I wanted something to stick to this. But right now I'm just trying to smooth it out and give me a nice good flat surface so that I get a nice looking finish. So I will have to come back, sand this more to get all these air pockets out. And then once I've broken out and got all the air pockets here, I have to come back and fill in the gaps. And then probably I could come back. I have glass. I could come back and lay more glass over it. Um, I don't know if that's really necessary to do or not. I'll just have to decide. The layup schedule only calls for the uh, fiberglass tape that's already on here and the extra layer of glass that I put on top of it was really a bonus, and that was mostly for the bottom part to protect it in case it ran up against rocks. The side doesn't really need nearly as much protection. So we'll see. They just would take a fair amount of fiberglass and uh, epoxy to try to do this whole thing. So I have to decide if that's how I want to use my epoxy or not. But yes, it's good. So I'm definitely going to rig up some sort of sanding chamber and then I'll continue on with this project another day. You can see over here we got some more bed preparation going. While this maybe looks a little bit trashy, this is a pretty clever way to use up all of our cardboard boxes and other paper products. The most simple aspect here is just having them on top of the grass blocks the light and kills that, but it also captures water and slowly releases it, promotes composting, and it encourages a lot of the little things that live in the ground that do all the aeration and fertilization for us to come up and nibble on the stuff and then go back down and to go up and down and up and down, making the soil nice and ready for planting. So this is just another example of our sort of lazy approach to getting things done rather than having to dig everything up by hand and till it all by hand and do everything by hand. We just spread some stuff out here and wait and good stuff happens. You can see in front of my tent here, I've got quite the little mud puddle going on. And this is going to be an ongoing problem. So we got some, well, what were supposed to be rounds, that piece got a little bit broken up. 
and I got some smaller pieces here. Just gonna make a nice little trail. Keep me out of the mud. So once I get properly trained on the chainsaw usage, I'll probably come back and cut myself some of these. <laughs> 